Hello everyone and welcome to this fourth draft I'm going to be recording for the Manabase. You can check out their website, Facebook page and YouTube channel, links are down below in the description. And I also encourage you to check out other content producer at the Manabase. There are plenty of things to be seen there. Um, this user is very good, stacked with a lot of strong red and black cards. Baleful Amit, Demoracy, Javelinier, Electrify. Um, Demoracy is the best card here. It's a little bit clunky to pick that and have the next best card probably be Electrify. Though I could see Amit being slightly better. And also passing a black uh, red card, but oh well. I mean, it is definitely the peak. Jeez. <laughs> Some more black and red. Uh, Ending Lure is good, but it's not good enough where I'm gonna pick it w over one of the black cards here. Lord of the Accursed is great. Probably not at its best in black red, though. Uh, you wanna be black white generally for that card. Baleful Amage is very good. I'm just extremely worried here that I'm going black red putting someone else into black red. But I don't think there is a ton we can do about it. Mm. At least we'll get we will get pack we should get cards pack one and three. We might see a not we might not see a lot of of things pack pack two though. Yeah I think I like Amit more than final reward. And in some deck Lord is better but if we are black red yeah, we might not end up. We might not end the black red. Actually, I'm gonna pick Lord. It's it, it is the the card with the highest upside and higher power level. She's another final reward and a bone picker. Oh my god, I think I like bone picker more than final reward. By the way, but yeah, someone is gonna think red black is wide open, and yeah, they are gonna go red black, and that's not gonna be great for us back too, but. What can you do? Mm, Wasteland Scorpion's fine. Amit might end up being better than Lord in this deck. It's pretty likely going to be the case, but there was a, a, a world in which, and there still is a world in which we don't see it that much red and we end up going black white, in which case Lord is going to be much better. Okay, interesting. Manticore is fine, 5 drop. Stamina, pretty good trick. I like both cards. Uh, getting a couple cheap tricks is not that hard usually, so I think I'm gonna lean towards Manticore. I guess there's a Trial of Strength too, which is rather late. Uh, just pick Manticore, I believe, though. Uh, Hyena Pack is playable, though, unexciting. Same with Unburden, I guess. <clears throat> That's a pretty good start. It's just that I don't see us getting any red or black back to. Eh, oh well. Like, since there was a Javelin here and really a bunch of black and red cards, I could even see the two people we are passing to being black red. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the javelin here wheels if no one wants to commit, but it's not very likely. Not thrilled about pack and burden is fine, but not great either. We have some good cards. I'm just not sure that we'll continue to get good cards very long. Uh, I like mummy more than watchers here. Uh, being able to discard is sometimes relevant in black red deck. 
it also is better because of Lord of the Accursed. Yeah, it should just be better overall. Best card here is probably Aven Initiate, but yeah. not today, I guess. That's a very late creator sandworm. Rona's Monument, if we are super heavy on creature, could make the cut despite not being green. At least more than any other option, so there is that. Um, I don't think we are going white black at this point. Unless we open thick white bomb rare. There's a chance we play cradle. Not a huge chance, but it could happen for sure. Mm, painful lesson, playable, I guess. Alright, well, we have seven cards I'm pretty happy to play, plus a couple op. I guess Unburden should definitely be in there. A couple, you know, options in the side that are not awful. So, my prediction is that we. Sh we will not see a ton of red or black pack 2. And then pack 3, beginning of pack 3 at least should be pretty good for us. Alright, well the best card in this pack is probably Emberhorn Minotaur. So, you know, and we are red so probably just gonna pick that. I like it more than Lizard, Scorpion and whatnot. Yeah, doesn't seem too difficult. <laughs> yeah, this Lord will not be great. The thing is, Lord is almost unbeatable if you are black-white zombie. It's, you know, power level of a bomb rare. So, and you know, it was third pick, I believe. So I think it was worth, you know, trying. It did not pay off, though. But this happens. And you know, it's still a fine card, even if you don't have a ton of zombies. Uh, okay, well, Magma Spray is best card in the pack. We are red. Seems like a fairly easy pick. Could use another Manticore. Harsh Mentor is playable, I guess, but... Yep. Let's spray it up. Uh, not a, an adept of uh, of the Yakal Warrior, so... Don't really want to pick that. We have a couple synergies. We have, I guess, one Cycler, one Mummy. If this card is good in... If, if this card is good in a deck, it's probably Black Red. It's just... Not super exciting, but maybe I should try it. Soul Skirmage. Brute Strength, Wasteland Scorpion. Maybe we're just looking to be pretty aggressive. Mage is pretty bad though. At least this can attack with because of Manas. Even if you don't have anything going on really. Uh, I think I can like Brute Strength here. It is a fine trick. Another adept. All right, let's try to be that deck. I mean, not convinced it's super good, but you never know until you try. And we definitely have some decent tools to be aggressive, cycle and discard some cards. So why not? Why not? Fairly late electrify here. I'm happy to see that. Wandering Death would be good too. Well, that's not bad. Looks like a potential solid red black aggro deck. And we still got, you know, fairly late Electrify, a couple playable, so not as disastrous as I was maybe expecting. Fling or Watchers of the Dead. P 
probably fling. Bring a bit more reach is nice. And at this point, we probably just want to be on the creature for the rest of the draft, unless we get some really, really good dream vol. Because I think, yeah, between brute strength, fling, the couple of dream vol we have, we are looking pretty good in this department, and we just we want to make sure we are, you know, playing a bunch of creature and curving out to try to kill them. I'm really not thrilled about the Iena pack though, so I might just be supernatural stamina there. Yeah. Alright, and after that we'll start picking more creatures. No, I mean, it's not too bad. We have nine creatures right now, one that's playable in the side. We are not looking too bad, but we definitely want something like 16, 17 creatures if possible. And Dune Beetle doesn't really... I mean, it's a creature. You can take that away from the Beetle, but... And it's actually a pretty good card in some deck, but it's just not really what we want. Mm, I'm less annoyed about playing a 2 and Burden if I have to adapt, at least, you know, you know, it's kind of doing something. But I need some creatures here. I really need and want some creatures because if we don't, if we if we don't go over something like sixteen creature, will be in trouble. We'll not really be able to aggro people. Tremani voice could be decent. Ooh, Sarodon is nice as a creature and it cycles. All right. Well, at least the curve is good. <laughs> two, 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 one, one. We just need to add some more creatures. Yeah, and this is shipping up fairly well. We have some good tricks. A little bit of reach, a little bit of removal. Again, I think we just need make that curve better, get some more creature, and things should go pretty well. Glory bringer. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, sweet. Mm. Convenient. Another bone peaker. Yeah, I think I like that more than Manticore of the Gauntlet or Battlefield Scavenger. Well, those were some really good peak. And the more aggressive you are, the better bone picker is gonna be. Because you if you are aggressive enough you can force a dismount of trades, which helps the bone picker. Soul Stinger is not super aggressive, so it's not gonna shine in this deck, but it's still the better option. And it's kinda good with fling to some extent. It's not insane, but you can you can just kill stuff get a little bit tricky and it's not bad. I want some cheap creatures though. Festering Mummy is not amazing but we might still play it because I don't think we are playing Destiny lead here. I mean it's a trick but we don't really need more trick and we have a Painted Bluff but I mean it's a great card but not that amazing if you're not black green. We've seen something like 10 rests this draft I feel like. Pretty late Beetle too. Grave Digger is great. Thing is, we need some 2 and 3 drop and we are not really getting these. I mean, Doom Decenter is not bad, but we need some aggressive 2 drop and we are not really getting any. Uh, I, I don't even think we are aggressive enough to actually play Cartridge of Strength. Uh, Cartridge of Zeal, sorry. I guess I might just play another Mami. <clears throat> the lack of 2 and 3 drop is a little bit clunky and annoying. I in a pack we don't even really want because we have enough fours. So yeah, it's really about those 2 and 3 drop that we did not get. 
Might want to play the second Unburden, by the way. Uh, I can use another Manticore, I believe. And maybe we just don't play those mm, Fettering Mummy. Flame Blade Adept doesn't seem very good to me. Tree doesn't seem very good to me. Maybe we're a little bit more controlly with some value. I mean, we have some very powerful 5 drops, enough removal, 2 bone peaker. We don't have to be super aggressive. I'm not sure which one is better between Fettering Mummy and Flame Blade, Adep Flame Blade Adept here. We do have a couple discard. Fettering is more defensive. Adept is more aggressive. We have one, two, three, four, four things that cycle plus miasmic mummy. Yeah, I actually, f yeah, the flame blade adepts are probably just very bad here. Hazard's monument is not bad though. We have three red five drops. It also helps us not flooding in the later game. Kinda wanna try it. It's not my favorite monument. I haven't played with it yet. I think it's pretty weak, but this might be a decent deck for that card. Not sure what I would cut for it though. Cutting a creature for a monument doesn't make a lot of sense most of the time, especially not here. No, I guess we'll not we'll not play that. Oh maybe I just cut unburdened though. Yeah, I'm fine doing that and trying the monument. Well, if anything, we have a glory bringer and a couple of very powerful removal and uncommon. So, and between the unburden, the monument, and grave digger, I think we can actually also play a value game. We don't have to just kill them super fast. And Lord of the Accursed is surprisingly solid here with Doom Dissenter, Miasmic Mummy, Two Festering Mummy, Grave Digger. It's it should be you know fine. Deck is kind of weird, not exactly what I expected. Uh, I thought we would be playing a more aggressive deck, but it's, you know, it's solid. We'll just play a native mana base and call it a deck. Could see Tormenting Vision being decent here. Maybe it's just better than Hazareth's Monument, by the way. Kind of does the same thing, but once, and you don't really need to do it way more, a lot more than once, but... I think if there's a deck in which this card is good, it's probably be gonna be a deck like that with a decent amount of red 5 drop that can really use the cost reduction thing and a deck that don't really wanna flood, so let's try it. Not convinced that this card is good, but you never know until you try and eh, if we can glory bring her on turn 4, that should be sweet. So that's going to be the draft. I hope you folks enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you for round uno.